What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, this is a preview of a showdown between Shelly Ann Fraser Price of Jamaica and Iwo Sobota of Poland. Now, y'all might be thinking, like, why the hell are you making this video? Well, Iwo Sobota is from Poland, and the next Diamond League stop is in uh, Poland next Saturday, uh, in Silesia to be exact. It will be on Saturday, August the 6th, and that will be Shelly Ann Frazier Price's next, uh, um, her next uh, track meet in the Diamond League. So, she's expected to be there, and th these two will be battling in 100 meters. Now, Iwa Soboda, a lot of you guys probably don't know who this is. She is from Polish, Polish uh, uh, track runner or sprinter, usually is in the 100 meters, and she, uh, was in the World Athletic uh, 100 meter field a couple of weekends ago, but she uh, she made it to the semifinals but did not qualify for the final. She had a time of like 11.08, and then Shelly Ann Fraser Price, we know she won with a 10.67. So you you figure like she's not in her league, but the reason why I wanted to bring her up is because we don't know who a lot of athletes that are usually participating in this are going to be in Birmingham for the Commonwealth Games. Uh, starting on Tuesday. So a lot of these athletes that probably would have been if this Diamond League stop will not be there. So there's a good chance that Iwa Sobota makes it to the final to face Shelly and Frazier Price. And she's got a good chance, depending on how the field shapes out, she's got a good chance of actually meddling and getting on the podium. You know, uh, I don't think she's going to beat Shelly and Frazier Price, but I think she's got a good chance of getting on the podium and giving uh, Shelly and Frazier Price a good a good race. Now, I think Iwo Sabota as well will be motivated because she will be in front of her home fans. They will be egging her on to win. They will give her all the energy she needs to put up a good race. Now, as far as um, back to Shelly and Frazier Price goes, this isn't Abby Steiner. So this isn't as probably a big of a challenge as that one was. But also, Abby, Abby Steiner had dead legs. This girl is more seasoned. She's 25 years old. 25 years old. She just turned 25, by the way, because she just had a birthday on Tuesday, July 26. So happy birthday to uh, uh, happy birthday to you, with Sabota. And uh, she's like I said, she just turned 25, so she's just entering the prime of her career. And so she's probably a little bit more seasoned, a little bit smarter, and uh, more experienced. And probably has a uh, good faster legs as well, so I think she could. I think she could do something with this one, man. So we'll see, man. But uh, go ahead and hit the like button, man. Hit the like button for me as y'all going out of here. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. Like I said, we got a lot of uh, uh, videos mainly by Abby Steiner on the channel. Uh, obviously, I will be covering. Uh, the Commonwealth Games that start on Tuesday for track, for the track side. They already are on the way, but the track side starts on Tuesday. So we're going to see how those races uh, shake down. I think Sharika Jackson is in Birmingham. I know, I know, um, I think Daryl Nader definitely going to be there. I don't know about Dina Asher Smith yet. I think she had an injury that she suffered from what I heard. Somebody, I don't know if it was Dina Asher Smith, but I know somebody had an injury. Uh, and and they probably aren't going to be able to participate at the Commonwealth Games. Christine Mumba is supposed to be over there as well. So it's going to be a very interesting, very interesting field uh, for the 100, 200 at the Commonwealth Games. Thank you guys for watching. After news, delight.